All right, today we are gonna be completely finishing up the Nexus R3 wiring harness for the K24 all-wheel drive FK8 Type R. So previously, we got the Nexus mounted up in place and ran the engine harness exactly where it needs to run for this setup. Today, we need to trim the harness to length, loom it, get all the connectors on, and if all goes to plan, maybe, maybe, maybe get a first start. This entire engine harness will be loomed out of the best of the best. We have a bunch of different size DR25 here and all of our OEM connectors came from race spec online, which I'll go ahead and link down below. They have all the connectors that we needed for this project. Here's our bag of connectors. We have ignition coils, injectors, all the sensors, flex fuel, every single connector needed. I do want to get everything labeled, especially injectors and coils, all the sensors, not a big deal if we can't get them labeled, but for surely injectors and coils need to be labeled because you have one through four. So the first thing we need to do is go through and get all of these trimmed to length. Cause of course that going to the coils, she's a bit long. Our entire engine harness is now cut to length. Everything is labeled. This thing is ready to come off the car, be loomed, put the wiring connectors on, put it back on the car, see how it fits. Hopefully it fits perfectly and maybe attempt a first start. Let's go ahead and pull it off. I have these two tables set up here. I'm gonna lay it out on the tables and we need to put the loom on first before we put on the wiring connectors. I went through, removed all of these zip ties because we do not want zip ties underneath the DR25. It's very, very ugly. And I taped the entire harness with this tape. I know it has a specific name. Let's just call it wire harness tape today. This thing is ready to be loomed. So we're gonna start off with the smallest loom first. Starting out with eighth inch, like I did here. So all those are loomed. And then we're gonna take a big loom to go over all the way down to here. And then the biggest loom to do the whole harness. So every joint will be fully sealed, shouldn't need any harness glue or epoxy, and this thing should be absolutely beautiful, all finished up. So once again, I'm gonna start off with these smallest connectors first, like I did here, and then work my way up to the big.
we finally have this entire harness in the DR25. So the ECU connects right here on the interior of the car. Here's the boot for the firewall. Comes out, we have a wide band. This right here is gonna be a six pin Deutsch connector and that's gonna go up to the few accessories we have up in here. Now this breakaway goes to crank sensor, VTC, oil pressure. This is a spare little harness for extra wiring in the bay if we ever need a five volt, 12 volt, a ground, any signals, they're all in there. That goes to the fans. This is everything underneath the intake manifold, including injectors, vehicle speed sensor, both cam sensors, coolant temp, and all of the coil packs. Tire harness is fully loomed. To have a complete engine harness, we have two things left. First step, we need to add in our labels so we know what everything is. And then last, install our pins onto the wiring, clip on the connector, and we're done. We will have a complete harness. I am gonna set the harness up on the car just in case any of the wiring needs a slight trim. We can do that before we put the connectors on. Twenty six total hours later, we have a complete engine wiring harness. The whole bay side of this harness is 100%. I did build one sub harness. This is for flex, boost control, and fuel pressure. And it's gonna break away from the main harness right here. Put it on a nice little six pin Deutsch connector. The rest of this is a one piece harness. Now I did debate doing a quick disconnect on the firewall back there just so it's easier to pull off the motor. If we wanted to add that in later on, it'd be pretty simple, not a big deal whatsoever. It would effectively replace the firewall boot. So what we have left is the interior side of the harness, which will be very, very simple. All we have to power is the lift pump, the two main fuel pumps, and run six wires over to the throttle pedal, one wire to the ignition, and then we have a four gauge power and ground for the ECU itself and this car should start. I'm very eager to get this installed onto the motor and see how everything looks. Hopefully it all fits like I want it. Guess we'll see.
There is still a little bit of work left to do in the engine bay department, but our engine wiring harness is installed and this is the extent of what you can see. There's a few little things that I need to finish up on the harness. Mainly, I just need to add a piece of heat shrink right there as the DR25 pulled apart, being that it's not adhesive backed. But the harness is gonna be tucked in nicely like that. I'm gonna swap the exhaust cam sensor out with a sensor that is a 12 o'clock sensor, so that pulls it away from the exhaust. And then the harness runs down here, right back there by the coolant lines, it goes underneath the intake manifold. So all you can really see when you're looking at the bay is the injector wiring, a little bit of wiring right there. And then you're gonna see from here to here. Now keep in mind the headlight sits here, catch scan is gonna sit here. So it most likely will be hidden when the car is complete. The harness turned out way better than I could have ever imagined. Now keep in mind, this thing took forever to build. It's gonna run underneath the fender. Of course, it'll be tied up nicely like so. And then back here, you can't really see it, but there's a 90 right there where it goes into the firewall. Super pumped, man. Very, very excited. We've been putting this off, the R3 swap. We've been putting this off for a very long time and I'm so happy it's finally almost done. All we really have left to get the car running, we need a few sensors in the engine bay, new map sensor, stuff like that. Unfortunately, cannot run the car without a map sensor. And then on the inside, ECU is still tucked up there. We need to add our power wire, our ground wire. Those go straight to the battery. And then we have just this can wire here. And then this harness runs back to the fuel pump, which I'll put this harness on a Deutsch connector as well, which looks like that. I thought I was gonna get the first start today on the Nexus ECU, but being that we need a few more sensors, primarily that map sensor, unfortunately we cannot run the car. 100% this thing will be running in the next video and hopefully running way better. It ran good, but it always had weird wiring gremlins. I have, I have no idea why. This is my old harness. It's so funny looking at this thing, man. I did some pretty scabby work on this harness. I don't, I don't dare show you guys up close, but I'm confident all of our electrical gremlins are gonna be worked out with the new harness. Super excited to see this thing all finished up. Getting close, man, getting close. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we fire this thing up.